In our previous videos, we have discussed rotational symmetry of circle and rotational symmetry of square. The video links to those tutorials you'll find in the description box below. In this video tutorial, let's talk about rotation symmetry of rectangle. So this is our rectangle whose one of the vertex has been you know, denoted by P. Now, this point is the center of rotation, is the center of rotation. Okay, from this center of rotation passes these two axes. Now, if we rotate this rectangle in the clockwise direction by the angle of rotation 90 degree, by the angle of rotation 90 degree, so this happens. Okay, now this point P the, or the vertex P is now here. Now tell me, are these two figures exactly the same? No, now these two figures are not exactly the same. Therefore, we say that at angle of rotation 90 degree, we don't have any rotational symmetry. Okay, now if we again rotate this clockwise, by another angle of rotation 90 degree from this point now, from this position. So tell me, initially we have moved by 90 degree, now again we are moving by 90 degree. So what total angle you will move by from this position? You will say that 90 previously and 90 now, so total angle of rotation is now 180 degree. So if you move by now 180 degree total from this initial point, then this happens. Now this point P is going to come here, right? Initially it was here, you will move by 90 degrees, so it will come here. Now what has actually happened is that the angle of rotation 180 degree, now the figures are exactly the same, right? And there is, yes, there is rotational symmetry. Why? Because the figures are exactly the same. Okay, so if you look here what has happened, let me highlight this, if I, if I take this with green color, let me take with some different color, this green, uh, your length is actually here now. And this one is here now, right? So this has happened, okay. So yes, at uh, 180 degree, we do have rotational symmetry, okay? Now we further, from this position, we again move it by 90 degree, right? We again move it by 90 degree. So if you again move by 90 degree, you tell me, that what total angle you'll move by, move by now. Initially 90, then another 90, so that made it 180 degree. Another 90, it is that 270 degree. So you are finally moving by 270 degree in the clockwise direction. So this happens. Now this point P has actually reached to this point. Now tell me at, sorry, I sh just wait a second. I should keep it here. Let me write here 180 degree. Okay, so now tell me at 270 degree, at 270 degree, do you have uh, rotation symmetry? No, these figures are not the same. Therefore, again, we don't have any rotational symmetry. No rotational symmetry. Okay. From this point or from this position, we again move it by another 90 degree. So this time you'll move by total 360 degree. You move by total 360 degree. So what has happened now is that your green, this line will exactly be here.
and this line is exactly here right so and this point p has actually reached to its uh, initial position and we know that for any shape for any given shape we have a rotational symmetry when it takes a full turn 360 degree means we have taken a full turn so at 360 degree of course we will have angle of rotation sorry rotational symmetry so at 360 degree yes we have rotational symmetry so if we have to ask that what are those angles angle of rotations at which we have rotational symmetry then we will say and we'll say that at 180 degree and at 360 degree at these two angles of rotation we have rotational symmetry therefore since we are having in one complete turn we are having two times uh, we are experiencing two times rotational symmetry therefore order of rotation symmetry is order of rotational symmetry is for rectangle is 2 one at 180 degree that was here and then another one was at 360 degree that is here right so order of rotation symmetry for rectangle is 2 and what are those angles of rotation 180 degree and 360 degree. 